Hey guys, comment of the day goes to this man right here. If you guys would like to win comment of the day, make sure you comment down below. Remember, I am replying to every single person that comments. Hey guys, I'm Lucky Moon back here for another video, guys. I stopped making the predictor videos because I thought you guys did not want to hear my predictions. Uh, I got in a lot of comments saying to start making these again, so I'll make them, and as long as you guys are supporting them with the like button and watching them, I'll definitely continue my prediction videos uh, for the predictor sets each and every week. So starting off right away, Bills win against the Raiders by at least three points. I do think this will happen. I think the Bills will win overall in the game, and I definitely think they will beat the Raiders by three points. Tyrod Taylor has at least 20 completions. That's difficult because I know the Raiders are really bad on defense in general and Tyrod likes to run the ball with Sean McCoy more than he likes to throw the ball because they don't really have the best wideouts there in Buffalo. With that in mind though, I'm going to go with Foss. I'm going to go with Foss for Tyrod Taylor has at least 20 completions. Bengals win against the Colts by at least 10 points. This is really difficult because obviously they lost to the Steelers last week and on fourth down Andy Dalton decided to throw the ball away instead of trying to win the game. Uh, or at least get that ball down the field for AJ Green and try to get a touchdown. With that in mind though, the Colts look like a dumpster fire in all honesty, but this is really difficult. I'm going to say false. I think it's going to be a three point game. I don't know who's going to win, but I think it's going to be a three point game nonetheless on both sides. AJ Green has at least one uh, touchdown. I think this will be true. Uh, Patriots win by the Chargers by at least seven points. It's gonna be interesting because I feel like the Chargers can beat the Patriots. The Chargers have been coming on as of late and been being a lot better since they started out with 0-5. They beat the Giants and they beat the um, or they beat the Raiders and then they beat the Broncos. 0-4, 0-5. Might be wrong on that one, but they won the last three games in a row. I'm pretty sure. So I do think the Raiders, the Patriots, will win this game. Will they win by seven? That is a lot of points to put up. But I'm going to go with yes. I, I got to have faith in Tom Brady here. Patriots win by seven. Tom Brady has at least 300 passing yards. Now, I know the Chargers defense is kind of suspect. It's not the greatest. I'm going to go with yes. Tom Brady has 300 passing yards. Saints win against the Bears by at least eight points. Um... The Bears do look really great. Obviously, their defense last week had 14 points. Offensively, they did nothing against Carolina, only scoring three points. But they didn't really have to score much since the fact that the, their defense did everything. Saints win, though. Saints have been doing really good lately. But I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with Foss. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Drew Brees at home? <laughs> true. True, true. <laughs> Drew Brees at home. There's no question. Drew Brees at home is a monster. Drew Brees has at least 27 completions. I'm going to go with two here. True, true. Uh, Falcons went against the Jets by at least five points. Jets aren't that bad, are they? <laughs> the Falcons suck right now. I'm going to go with... Oh, this, this really sucks. I thought the Jets were going to be so bad and the Falcons were going to be so good. Um, I got to go with Foss. Fall, wait. Went to the Jets. All right, true. Sure. I'm going to go true here. Falcons, you better not do it again. You better win this game. Okay? You guys are supposed to be really good. You, you lost the Super Bowl. You better win against the Jets. Win. Blah Powell has at least one touchdown. I'd look to see if he's active for this week. I'm not sure if he's 100% healed over his injury. I'd say false. If it was me, though. Eagles win against the 49ers by at least 11 points. I'm going to go with true. Zach has at least six receptions. True. Bucks win against the Panthers by at least three points. I'm going to go with uh, Panthers. Panthers. They're really not that bad. False. <laughs> They're really not that bad. Mike Evans has at least 80 receiving yards. True. Seahawks win against the Texans by at least six points. True. Russell Wilson has at least 300 total passing and rushing yards. True. Dougie Baldy has at least six receptions. True. Lamar Miller has at least one touchdown. True. Redskins went against the Cowboys. They both could lose this game. I'm going to go with false. No, I'm going to go with true because Redskins are at home. True. 
Although the Redskins did lose to the Eagles at home. But the Eagles are the best team in the league, let's be honest. Kirk Cousins has at least 300 passing yards. False. Redskins, D has at least two sacks. True. Zeke Elliott has a, at least 100 rushing yards. Why, yay? Why couldn't this be total? 100 total. I'm fine with that. Take that. 100 rushing yards. I'm going to go true. Steelers win uh, by at least three. True. Amir Abdullah has 15 rushing attempts. True. Marvin Jones has at least 90 receiving yards. True. If, wait, Marvin Jones? No, false, false, false. No, if that said Golden Tate, and Golden Tate's kind of questionable, I'd probably still say false anyway. Pittsburgh has the number one pass D. Le'Veon Bell has at least 125 total rushing and receiving yards. Ooh, he burned me three weeks ago on this. And I want to say true again because they figured out they have to give him the ball. But I'm so torn with Le'Veon Bell now. Can he burn me? I'm like a fantasy owner. I, I'm, I'm literally a fantasy owner who has Le'Veon Bell. He burned me, so I don't want to get burned again. But I could also get burned by saying false. And then he does it. I'm going to say true. T-R-U-E. True. Steelers, he has at least three sacks. True. Bronc, uh, Chiefs win by Broncos seven points. My reading is horrible. Chiefs win against the Broncos by at least seven points. True. Uh, Terry Kill has at least six receptions. True. Kareem Hunt has at least one rushing touchdown. True. It doesn't say rushing touchdown. I just add things in randomly, apparently. Uh, true, though. Trevor Simeon has at least 22 pass completions. True. And AJ Dubby has at least six completions. <laughs> That's the tight end, right? The, the Broncos tight end? I'm going to go true. I'll go true for that one. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.